Hello students. Today uh, in class 9th we are going to start a new topic for exercise 1.3. And the new topic is uh, decimal expansion of rational numbers. Now how to uh, convert a number which is in the p upon q how to convert in the decimal form. It's very simple. We divide the numerator by denominator and the answer comes in the decimal form. So this is the way to convert any rational number which is in the form of p upon q to convert in the form of decimal. Now decimal expansions will give you some kind of uh, um, uh, numbers which will distinguish between two types of decimal expansions. Rational numbers are categorized into two types of decimal expansion. One is terminating and the other is non-terminating repeating. Let's take, in, uh, let, let's take some examples. Now if I ask you how to convert 36 upon 100 into decimal form. So you can without solving it you can very easily write 0 0.36. After that Let's take this example, it's 7 upon 8. You can see that how to convert this number in the decimal form. You will divide 7 by 8 and then you will get 0 0.875. And that's it, the remainder will come 0. After that, take one more example, it's 4 whole 1 upon 8. Now you have to convert into the decimal form so you can convert into the improper form and similarly the numerator will be divided by denominator and the answer you will get 4.125 this comes to an end the remainder will come 0 you can see this that it also comes to an end this also comes to an end and this also comes to an end this type of decimal expansion are called terminating decimal expansion because it's terminating at a point it comes to an end at a point. That's why they are called terminating decimal expansions. After that, let's take some other ratio numbers also, like 10 upon 3. If you divide and convert into decimal expansion, decimal form, so you will divide 10 by 3. When you divide 10 by 3, you will get 3.333333 and so on. It will never come to an end. You can do it uh, by yourself. You can do the division. So what will you see this? You will see that it's 0.33333 and so on. It will never come to an end. Similarly, take another example. It's 1 upon 11. When you divide 1 by 11, it will be 0. 0, 0.9090909 0, 9, 0, 9, 0, 9, and so on. It will be continuously 0.9090909 0, 9, 0, 9, 0, 9 will come. Always. It will never come to an end. One more example in front of you. It's 3 upon 13. If you divide 3 by 13, you will get 0 0.230769230769 and so on. 230769230769. And it will never come to an end. So what will you, what have you seen this? That a digit or a group of digit repeating itself, repeating after a, a regular interval. So that repeating term, repeating digit or group of digit will be written with bar. Because 3 is repeating, that's why I have put the bar on 3. Similarly, here 0, 9 is repeating, so the answer will be 0, 9 bar. The bar is on 0, 9 both. Similarly, this full group is repeating, so I will put the bar is on the full group. It means that it is coming again and again. Okay, you can just remember by that, if you, are, if you are putting the bar on that, it means it is coming bar bar. You can remember by that. 
so this type of decimal expansion called non terminating and repeating decimal non terminating repeating decimal expansion and which comes to an end this type of decimal expansion called terminating decimal